Welcome to the third part of ICCF at Columbia Business School. I'm Charles Jones, uh, the Robert Lear Professor of Finance and Economics, and I'll be leading you through this part of the program. You've actually come a long way so far. At this point, you should be comfortable with the idea that we always want to calculate the present value of a firm, a project, an investment, an asset, or a liability by discounting all of its free cash flows at an appropriate discount rate. In the first part of this module, we'll figure out what that right rate is for discounting. You've already heard some hints about this in previous modules. The simple answer is higher risk means a higher discount rate. But not all risk is the same, and a big part of what we'll do in this section is learn how to measure risk. After that, we'll talk about how firms finance themselves, and we'll discuss the important differences between using debt and equity. The basic message there is simple. The discount rate on a firm's debt is generally going to be lower than the discount rate used to value its equity. But surprisingly, or maybe it's not so surprising if you think about it, that doesn't mean we should always use debt to finance our activities. Obviously, you can get in trouble by using too much debt, and we'll talk about that in some detail. There are a few other topics that we'll address, and then we'll pull it all together and think about valuation from start to finish. Ready to start? Super. Me too. I started my career in investment banking at Merrill Lynch, which is now a part of Bank of America. It was a great experience, and I quickly learned a ton uh, in a short amount of time. For one project, Merrill Lynch was advising a Dutch company, which was selling off parts of its business that weren't part of its core operations. And I was valuing the parts that they were selling. I was pulling together a little discounted cash flow formula and a little sensitivity table to see what the present values were of the various parts of the business at different discount rates. But what rates to put in the table? At that moment, my phone rang. Jones! It was my managing director on the phone. Jones! Jones! What discount rate are you using? What rate should I be using, boss? Use 10%, he said. Vary it from 9 to 11, but use 10%. Why 10%, boss? Use 10%. And that's all I ever heard from him about how to choose a discount rate. So what I hope to do is to give you a better sense than what my managing director gave me. You might just get told what rate to use, like I was, or the rate might come straight from the market, but there are lots of times when you need to do some thinking about what the right discount rate is to use for discounting a project. And as you saw in the last module, the discount rate can matter a lot. A project that makes a lot of sense at 10% suddenly could make no sense at 11% for a discount rate. The NPV could go from very positive to very negative with just a small change in the discount rate. So, ready to start? Let's jump in.